हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल मेटलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो दिस इज द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ गेट एम टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आंसर की सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू द बर्जस फैक्टर एंड दिस डिसलोकेशन लू सो वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई वट द नेचर ऑफ डिसलोकेशन एट पी एट क्यू एंड एट आर सो इफ दिस इज द लाइन फैक्टर विच इज मूविंग लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ बर्जस फैक्टर सो पी विल बी प्योर H, R will be pure screw, and Q is the mixed dislocation. So, if you can see the answer C here, P is pure edge, Q is mixed, R is pure screw. So this option is correct here. The next question is about uh, it is as shown in the figure, the two rods of different metals of equal length L by two diameter D, and constant thermal conductivity K one and K two are are connected perfectly here so uh, we will upload the full solution very soon so the option a way here it is a uh, correct here the next question is uh, which one of the following is correct statement about the industrial production of aluminium from pure dry alumina by hard herald electrolytic reduction so usually cell is operated at the low voltage which is 5 to 7 volt and with high current density this option is the correct one here and if you have any doubt like uh, if you want to argue with this this, uh, uh, this option is not correct you can write down it into the comment section we can discuss about this again the next uh, question uh, this about uh, uh, this uh, thermal conductivity so for this answer a is correct we will upload the detailed solution uh, this in the upcoming so the next question is about uh, phase diagram so in this it is saying that the constitutional blender cooling condition for a hypothetical binary alloy of a a with solute b during solidification is shown in figure along with the binary phase diagram so we have to identify it based on these two schematics one can conclude that the solute concentration in the region x which is this one will be less than or greater than or same or independent of the average composition this one so if you can compare here if you can see the liquidus line is just above the temperature and this one is the uh, temperature of the liquid so the correct answer will be here less than the average composition of the liquid so we are talking about this region here the next question is about the creep uh, the creep test so a creep test of pure crystalline crystalline and uh, this metal is performed in tension and the creep strain rate is observed to decrease during the primary stage the creep mechanism is later uh, determined to be dislocation climb control and the observed decrease in the creep strain rate is are this due to so the correct answer is there increase in the dislocation density which one of the following statement is correct so ultimate analysis of coal involves a determination of moisture volatile matter fixed carbon is so this is the correct here roasting involve uh, reduction of sulfide ore to pure metal so this one is false here white metal is produced by oxidizing iron and sulfur during the smelting of copper iron metal this is true uh, reduction of oustite in blast furnace occur at the lower part of the step this is true so option a C and D is the correct here. Now the next question is again on the microstructure. So there are three microstructures are given for the quench steel tempered at three different temperature. So T1, T2, T3 for a fixed time are schematically illustrated. The solid circle represents cementite particles. These are the cementite particles here uh, in ferrite matrix. So this white region is ferrite. This black particles are cementite. A bit different uh, uh, radius R1, R2, and R3 of the cement particles are given in these three conditions, and also the volume fraction is different. So B1 is less than B2, and B2 and B3 are equal. Now there is another condition is given here. If the cementite in the steel is more noble than ferrite, so this one is very important here. If it is more noble than ferrite, it means that if you have a larger ferrite content. that will corrode fast this is what the this question is asking so then which one of the three microstructure will have the highest corrosion rate when exposed to aqueous solution of this 
highest corrosion rate means the higher corrosion will, uh, this uh, will happen so in all the three condition only in the first condition if you can see the amount of ferrite is more as compared to uh, t2 and t3 so uh, in t1 there will be the more a corrosion happen so the the t1 has the highest corrosion rate as compared to the t2 and t3 so the answer a is correct here there is one more condition like there is an effect of temperature as well but uh, based on the volume fraction we can only conclude that this t1 has the highest corrosion rate now come to the next question which of the following statement is are correct for the joining processes so in this case the in case of soldering and forging the filler filler material has a melting point lower than the, mm, that of a metal swine is correct and the friction welding is a solid state joining process this is the correct and other two are false the next question is on a Griffith criteria so there it is given which of the following graphs represent Griffith criteria for the growth of a crack in a brittle isotropic infinitely large plate with a center crack so if you have a infinitely large crack with a center infinitely large plate with the center crack length so how the graph will looks like for the uh, energy release rate in terms of uh, uh, total strain energy and uh, surface energy so usually i mean if you have seen this graph like this so this is the total energy versus crack length a so for the surface energy graph looks like this and for the uh, this strain energy it looks like this and then average will happen something and uh, the average of these two will and this one is the crack length but here given this delta c is the magnitude so when you just uh, use this one particular so the magnitude is given so this curve will be like this so now you can see the option uh, not c because this is the crack length so option c here see this one is the correct option so only the trick is given that they have given the magnitude of this strain energy so you have to just uh, uh, this reverse uh, I mean this particular point here so you have something like that the next question is uh, regarding uh, assertion and reason so there is given the first one is given groups are made on the surface of the roll rolls parallel to their roll axis to achieve large thickness reduction in our time the reason is given given uh, 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 this mu is the this a coefficient of friction between the rolls and the slab the alpha is angle of bite between the entrance plane and the center line of the rolls unadded entry of the slab in the roll can take place only if mu is less than 10 alpha so here a is true and r is false so the option b is correct here a is true and but r is false so this is all about this uh, i think i have covered all the questions like conceptual questions like uh, which one have uh, mcq or msq so uh, we will come up with the uh, uh, numerical parts as well in the next uh, this numerical section and as well as the mathematics part if you have any doubt or any uh, remarks on any kind and uh, this uh, any questions you can write down uh, into the comment box yep thank you so much